All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting up here in the Freedom Studios North. And I'm very happy that I'm doing this again. This is the second take for this video because I uh, ate some pasta or something, and it was just nothing. My whole beard was just completely red right here. Look at that big old clown. All right, what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about catastrophes will bring out the good and the bad in all people. And uh, it is true. Either you're either going to be good or you're going to be bad. And unfortunately, in this case, uh, there are some bad people out there and they're doing some very bad things. And this is going to go into a couple different things. And uh, I will tell you about this. I got a call from a good friend of mine who's up on the top of a mountain with about 12 other people. And he was calling for, to see if I could bring him some supplies, at least up to where we could meet. Because the grocery stores are non-existent. They need canned foods, water, whatever. And guys, if you can make a donation, this is a worthy call. This, this is... This is catastrophic. This is absolutely asinine, uh, the things that they're going through. And I guess the government, well, they're supposed to have some people up there eventually, I guess. And uh, thank God for all the privateers and the helicopters going around and uh, helping and, and uh, bringing people out. It's going to be uh, alarming eventually when we figure out how many people we've lost in this thing. I mean, a mom trying to, I mean, a daughter trying to hold on to her elderly mother, and uh, they both get swept away and their bodies are found. Uh, it brings tears to my eye. And, yeah, I do get choked up in this thing. But, anyway, my good friend called me today because he is together with a group of about 12 other people. And they're up there basically surviving. They uh, they have a generator, which not a lot of people have. Uh, and I have a good friend of mine, another good friend of mine who is up in Black Mountain area. He uh, He's like, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going out and buying a generator. I said, either a generator or one of those battery backups with the solar panels. Uh, both, if you can, just simply because it might be snowing for four or five days and you're not going to, well, you're not going to be able to charge that thing when it's snowing because it's going to be cloudy, of course. All right, so downfall of uh, solar panels. A couple, another good friend of mine, he owned this thing called the Old Cider Mill. He was in the top floor when the bottom was getting swept away. He actually called somebody who had a helicopter that he knew, and he got him out of there. All right, back to my story. good friend of mine called me. He and a bunch of people are on top of this mountain. And the biggest concern, and I guess it's getting around, is that there are looters everywhere. And that's what I said. A catastrophe will bring out the worst. My opinion about looters, shot, shoot them on sight. These are, these are the most dog, dog people, okay, who are going and stealing people's goods. Uh, if it's a matter of survival, I can completely understand it, but they're going up and they're looting the communities, they're looting people's homes, and it's getting, uh, according to him, it's getting scary because he's not really a gun guy, okay? And this is another reason I'm getting into this is that uh, some people who are not gun people are instantly being turned into gun people. This is the reason why, guys, we have the Second Amendment. And when you got somebody like Tim Walls and Kamala Harris going in and going, you don't need that weapon of war. You know, you have no idea what a weapon of war is because <laughs> uh, he can outshoot half the Republicans. But in any case, not going to get there. He's a piece of shit anyway. But in my in my situation here is the Second Amendment is there for you and I to defend ourselves and our homestead against Enemies, foreign and domestic, and a looter is a domestic enemy in my book. So the government, these people who are in government, they want to take our way, our means and methods. Well, guess what? When I deliver the goods to him, there's going to be a little something special there for so he can defend himself. We always had fun times talking about guns and things of that nature, and he's going, well, I got a crossbow. And I was like, well, you know, crossbow is okay. But it sure as hell ain't as good as a 9mm with 17 rounds in a mag. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. What looters? I, it just it blows me away. Help somebody. Like I said, the good and the bad in everybody. And let the bad people know who you are by being good and taking them out and doing what you got to do. All right, so in any case, uh, side note, uh, Memorial 3 Guns, a week and two days. Got another rifle out and zeroed it out today. A uh, good friend of mine I thought would need it, but uh, I always take a backup rifle, and I was really impressed. This thing's running a Wilson uh, Combat, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, precision barrel, my God. Uh, SJC Comp, Trigger Tech Diamond, uh, it's got a Vortec Razor uh, with a JM1 reticle on it, and uh, just about everything that you could ever want. And then also, this weekend, I'm going to burn my back yard up. <laughs> Y'all got to watch this. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, I was telling uh, my buddy, I said, you want a flamethrower? I got one of those I'll bring to you. So anyway, you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. I always end them like this. 
God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Yeah. Did you hear about that one uh, police chief down in Okeechobee? I think it is. And uh, decided he was going to uh, put a stop or a ban on the sale of firearms and ammunition for a period of time. So anyway, that got uh, a few people made a phone call, and uh, Governor DeSantis put that stop to that real quick. So I always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm KB32. To the rescue. Y'all be good. And please donate if you can. Okay, this is some serious stuff. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.